Using curves to handle experience progression is the easiest and most versatile tool to make a fun and challenging leveling system. Without using any packages or new assets, I'll be showing you how to make a level up system which is extremely flexible and easily adapted into things like skills, items or anything to your heart's desire. The project files will be uploaded onto GitHub, so be sure to check that out in the description below. Let's jump straight into it. I have a very simple project here, just an empty scene with an overlay canvas in our experience bar. The experience bar has an image attached for the background, then two additional images within it, the fill and the border. For the fill, make sure the image type is set to filled and horizontal, so it acts similar to a slider. I've also added a few text areas, one for the current level and another for our experience counter, which is just placed on top. Okay, let's get straight into coding. We just need one script to handle all of our behavior, which I'll name Experience Manager. Feel free to name it whatever you like. Inside this script, we'll need to add two new namespaces, UnityEngine.UI and TextMess Pro. We'll start off with a header attribute named Experience for a bit of organization. Here we'll need references to all our experience and leveling variables. The first being our experience curve, which will be a type of animation curve. This will control our experience scaling, which we'll adjust later. Also, quite a few ints, our first being our current level, total experience, previous levels experience, and next levels experience. And lastly, we'll need a new header named interface, which will hold all our references to our experience bar and its different parts. Start off with one new TextMess Pro UGUI for our level text object, and another for our experience text, and also an image for our experience fill. To start us off, we'll add a new method, which we'll call to add experience at any time, taking in an integer amount to increase. Just add this amount to our total experience, then we need to call a new method named check for level up, which we will just check if we have enough experience to progress to the next level. Define this method and we'll check if our total experience is greater or equal to the next level's experience. If so, we can increment our current level by one and call a new method named update level, which will update all of our experience milestones. But before that, below this is a time to add in a level up sequence with visual effects or sound if you'd like to polish it up but I'll just leave it empty for now. Onto our update method, all it does is set our previous levels experience and next levels experience based on our value evaluated from our curve. Make sure to cast this as an integer, otherwise it'll pass a float. The last thing we need to do is update our interface with our newly defined values. Create a new method named update interface, and here we can create two new ints, which will hold our start and end value for our image fill which will just add a base amount of experience needed to progress to next or current level without adding the total experience. Now just assign these to our text mess objects and the first being the level text to the current level. Then our experience text, which I'll just format like so, but feel free to change this up. And now just to set the fill amount passing in our start divided by the end value, which will give us a normalized number between zero and one. Do not forget to cast the integers into floats, otherwise it will not work as fill images only take in floats between 0 and 1. We will need to call this method now whenever we update our experience values. So I'll just put one in our experience method and the other within the update level method. Finally, we just need a way to test out this system. I'll just define an update method, check the input.mousebutton0, which is our left mouse button, and add 5 experience points for now. I'm also just going to update our level method in a new start method to make sure our values are set up as soon as we hit play. Save the script and now we can assign our variables. I'm just going to place this script we made onto our experience bar for now. I'll quickly assign the following interface references to our script, then I'll move on to adjusting the animation curve. Open up the curve and start off with a preset you'd like, I'll just select this one. And on the top keyframe, this is where we set things like max level and experience needed to progress. Set time to 99, which will be our max level, and the other one to something like 1 million. So in other words, you'll need 1 million experience to reach level 99. If your curve looks something like this, where it's not showing a proper curve, press the F key to focus on your curve and see it in a proper aspect ratio. And now you can actually see all the levels in this graph. So for example, if you are at level 50, you'll need 400,000 experience and so on. If you'd like to play around with the graph, just simply add more keys by right clicking and adjusting it to your liking so you can see the progression scale. Exit the curve once you finish editing it and we can test out our experience system. If I press my left mouse button, it'll go up and update accordingly. If I spam it, it'll work perfectly. I can even go into debug into my inspector to see the values in real time. And that's all for today's tutorial. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please subscribe and like the video. You can always find me on my Discord server and other social media to support my content.